All right. Silent Hill 3, round two. Round one ended very shortly when I realized that my capture card cannot handle this properly. New day, new capture card. Hopefully, we actually get to play this time. Shit, my curtains are falling apart. It'll have to do. I assume the audio is once again desynced. And hopefully it's fixed now. And I hope the audio levels are fine and everything else is fine. I'll I'll try to crop some of the some of the edges out once we get to the actual gameplay. This all should be fine. New game. Alright, then. Well, I have played Silent Hill 2. I will not make the mistake of starting on, on hard. We're playing on normal, normal. Now I can attempt to do some, some cropping real quick. Let's see. Oh yeah, it wouldn't surprise me at all if initializing was just totally messed up last time. Seems fine. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> My previous console setup was absolute garbage. The, the only redeeming that quality it had is that it sorta of, kinda of functioned and there was an image. But beyond that, 
was about as bad as it gets. But now, actual, decent quality. like someone is there, but I don't feel like making sure. Alright. Combat stance. Sidestep. This... Oh, this is like a weird camera button. Don't... Don't ever try to use a stick. That's a bad idea. Don't have a map. And just a flashlight. Alright, so I I played through this area last time, but that's all I did. <laughs> right, place is full of holes. So I rem remember that all I need to do here is just run, get out. Attempt to not get killed. Granted, it would be a lot easier. If the camera wasn't pointing at my face. Ah, oh, and I see this. I mean, it is Silent Hill. So it makes sense, but... Uh, I forget this character's name. He's... Uh, turning her head to look at the object of interest. So I gotta keep an eye out for that. It's locked! Right, right. Hey, one for six. Right, this was a thing. So that's a thing. This is like the Silent Hill version of precision platforming. Honestly, the one thing I'm concerned about with this new setup is that with Silent Hill in specific, is it going to look too good? What one thing I there. really liked about, liked about Silent Hill 2 is how grainy and low res it looked. It, it had that look that every indie horror game tries to emulate.
<laughs> Dad, it's me. Yeah. Sorry I didn't call sooner. Do they? Yeah, I guess I was. I think the... Anyway, I'm coming home now. I should maybe pay attention oh, to cuts. I didn't That's get that thing you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Carter. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No, half an hour of your time. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. Right, and that cutscene reminds me, uh, I am not an expert on the Silent Hill lore, but my understanding is that this is not really a sequel to Silent Hill 2, but to Silent Hill 1. And I don't know how to feel about that, because I don't think the story was a strong point in Silent Hill 1. Jerikuza. Yeah, look at that. I still have a save from the last time I tried to play this. A month ago. You can overwrite that. But yeah, regarding the cutscenes, I, I think the one game that really impressed me with uh, uh, with the visual quality on the PS2 was uh, Haunting Ground. I wasn't a fan of that game otherwise, but it did look really good. Anyway, fuck that detective guy. over here. I like this more than Salt Hill 2. We'll find out. Silent Hill 2 has set a pretty high bar. And this is where I stopped playing last time. When the stuttering and sound issues became apparent. The, the Revolt of Karen Isle, I mean, it's legible, I'll give it that. It doesn't make sense, but it's, it's at least legible. Yeah, that's what I heard about Silent Hill 4. Uh, 
And it's kind of interesting because the silent heal part of it doesn't even seem that interesting. But I, I just really like the uh, the premise of it. Like, all right, you're stuck in your room. Also, there's a hole in the wall. Good enough. You can work with that. I've seen people play some before, and the gameplay doesn't look very, very fun. So, when did I... Stay back. Oh, right, right, I just picked up the gun. Paying attention, 101. Honestly, after this, the Silent Hills I'm most looking forward to trying out eventually are the supposedly bad ones. What is this thing? It's like... I, I've, I've seen four. I, I... I know what it's about. I, I know the gameplay doesn't look great. But Homecoming and Downpour specifically, I know nothing about those. I, I, I want to see how fucked does this series get. <laughs> Definitely not human. Monster. Also, this game has that annoying thing where it's super easy to accidentally skip, uh, skip dialogue. Yeah, I, I, I want to see the American devs take over. I, I want to see just how it happens. Dad gave me this pendant on my birthday. It's one of my treasured belongings. Oh, nope. Jewel inside, like a little red tablet. Just a lucky charm. Take good care of it and never take it off. Oh yeah, and oh, there's the, the other PS2 games. Which are, like, I don't know, I guess vaguely interesting. Shattered Memories and uh, Origins. Origins being the one I never hear anybody say anything about. And Shattered Memories being the one that I've heard people describe as not terrible. Can I... Should I call the police? Not like they'd believe me. Yeah, it's dead. Well, I, I do need to pick up Shattered Memories. Problem is that it's kind of stupid expensive. It's the only one I'm missing. Oh, uh, run! 
Not because I don't want to waste ammo, but because I forget how to shoot. <laughs> when I say I forget how to shoot, I mean I didn't actually technically shoot a single time yet. There, that's how you shoot. <laughs> came from here, or rather I eventually went through here, yeah, <laughs> no shit. Take a different direction this time. No, I went through there and, yeah, okay, so this is a new area. Oh, well, that's nice. My God, this place is huge. I, no, that's not how you zoom in. You don't zoom in. Yeah, I, I assume Shattered Memories is probably better on Wii. Because I, I, that is like flashlight controls on the Wii mode or something like that, right? So, maybe it's better on Wii. My problem is that I, I collect PS2 games. <laughs> so I want the PS2 version. I don't care if it's inferior, I just want that. <laughs> This was a waste of waste of time. Mouse and keyboard controls. I'm intrigued. Oh god. What the shit are you? Uh, uh, don't attack me, I'm trying to work out the controls! <laughs> How do I reload? <laughs> do I reload? <laughs> Outside of the menu, oh. that is? I mean, sure, that's pretty fast to do. And pauses the game. <laughs> ah, Rule of Rose is something I definitely want to pick up. But, uh... My, my policy on my, my collection is that I lowball absolutely everything. Like, I am not paying to accurate price. Fuck no. I'd, I'd rather wait. I, I think part of the fun of collecting games is finding one for cheap.
which is why I'm glad to have stuff like uh, Persona 3 Fez, which I paid 10 euros for. Which, to my understanding, is is a pretty decent deal. Although, in case of Rule of Rose, I honestly probably would be willing to pay like 200. Uh, shoot! That was tankier than I expected. Beef jerky. Nothing useful. <laughs> Except beef jerky. What do I do with beef jerky? Just enough to distract monsters. Wow, thanks. Oh, I don't have any more ammo? Oh, shit. Well, that's unfortunate. But yeah. Rule of Rose is something I am willing to pay a bit more more for. Another one being uh, Kuon. Because Kuon just sounds like my type of game. Come on, it's a FromSoft horror game that plays like Lost Kingdoms. Yes, please. I'm one of the three Lost Kingdoms fans, so... I want to play a horror Lost Kingdoms. I think Kuon is... PS2 only. Something's fallen between table and the floor. I think it might be a key. If my arms were a little longer, I might be able to reach it. <laughs> a huge pile of cardboard boxes on the table full of books. It's way too much of a pain to move something that heavy. Nah. Let's not bother. It's too much of a pain. Oh yeah. Kuon and Juon says one of them is a uh, probably a really interesting good game by FromSoft, and the other one is well, <laughs> I suppose it's technically a game. <laughs> so this fucking puzzle, oh Christ! Is, is this anything? No. It's not that. It's not the book. It's from the altar. Altar? What am I thinking? I think the one time I paid roughly the correct correct price for a game that's kind of expensive is when I picked up Symphony of the Night. But I only did it because it was the uh, NTSC version. And you don't see too many of those. Plus, the NTSC version is supposedly the good version of the game, and it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Nope! 
Hype. Later, buddy. Heather keeps looking at something. Sir. Bakery. It's bread! But I'm not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I... Pair of tongs. Okay, well, that works. I, I do sometimes pick up some GameCube and Wii games. So, like, if, if I see Juon for pennies, I may pick it up. No employees around. What are you looking at, Heather? It's like you, you see something interesting. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you're just lying to me. Uh, like, yeah, Cursed Mountain is on the same pile. Like, if I see it for pennies, I'll pick it up. Like I said, I, I, do, I do occasionally pick up GameCube games. Like, I think just yesterday I got Metroid Prime 2 in the mail. Because I got it for, like, 15 euros. So, like, yes, please. I'll take that. Or was it 20? I don't remember. Either way, it was reasonable. That's what the item name. That the item is just key taken with tongs. <laughs> it's not wrong. Oh, Juan is kind of expensive then. Yeah, I mean, those deals come by. I think. Oh, leave me alone. Oh god, what the I think Juon is is isn't a licensed game. Where the hell do I even want to go? I got a key, but I don't really have a keyhole. I, I don't know what a locked door looks like on the map. It's kind of blurry, so it's hard to tell if if any of these doors are potentially locked. I don't know if the 
he gets used automatically when I eventually... Ah, he does get used automatically. <laughs> now we know. What is this shop? VHS tapes? Magazines. Some of them look interesting, but it's really not the time for that. Not the books are very interesting. Just the kind that I can buy anywhere. Oh! Is, is this that puzzle? <laughs> that puzzle that you don't want to be playing on hard? Obscure, yeah. I do have both the Obscure games for PS2. But I believe I'll be playing them single player. Given it's a PS2 and doesn't really have online. Should I just line up the books I picked up off the floor? Yes. Oh, right, I have to use them from the inventory. Quick pleasure at funerals. We could, we could. Uh, where on the shelf do I want? I don't know. At the beginning? Oh, I can place... Oh, that's nice. That's nice. No bullshit about having to go through the inventory every single time. What a pleasant surprise. Ah, fuck. Now I don't remember which is which. So not perfect UI, but but it's fine-ish. Could have been much worse. Uh, I think this is wrong. Is it? 1497? Or just 497? Everybody, those weird monsters? They have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? Remember me, and your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudio, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. <laughs> Oh, 
I wouldn't say that anybody in particular necessarily lifted that puzzle from anything else. Because that's one of those puzzles that are very stereotypical for horror games. It's like books on a bookshelf, piano, and a clock. Like, every horror game must have at least one of those three. This is a soundscape. Yeah, there hadn't been many, but still. <laughs> or, I, I can't claim to be an expert, and I haven't done any math on this. But that's my impression, that those three puzzle types are all over the place. Maybe I'm just saying that because at least, but I think Resident Evil 1 had a piano, right? Yeah, at least kind of. It, it was there, it counts. Then Silent Hill 1, of course, had a piano. Notoriously awful piano puzzle. Radio from the ceiling. Then, uh, I remember that at least Silent Hill 2 and Eternal Darkness have uh, clock puzzles. And I'm sure, I'm sure, based on nothing, that at least five other classic horror games have those. Any of them. Hey, Clock Tower is getting a re release? Remaster? Also, this game didn't really waste any time uh, getting Heather to Silent Hill. Where am I? Um, I would love to find a save room ASAP. Yeah, I played Silent Hill 2, and I did attempt to play this a month ago, but technical issues stopped me. Save room, nice.
I know I've, I know I've forgotten something really important, but I also have the feeling that I'd be better off not remembering it. Looking forward to that clock tower, re whatever. Oh, dope. dog, leave me alone. Ow! And alone in the dark. Meh. Nah. At some point. That's that's a really cool visual. Ah. Oh. Mm. Look at that. That's how you show off a monster. Just just the right amount of lighting. Love it. Also, I didn't explore a bunch of rooms in the previous area, and I really, really should. Shadow broke. Shadow. Oh no. Oh no. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Ow! How's my health? <laughs> I'm just tanking all the hits. You know what I what I did do when I was thinking of what to play potentially before my capture card arrived and turned out that hey I actually can play Silent Hill now. I did install the original Alone in the Dark. Nineteen ninety two Alone in the Dark. Hey, Wungus. That's, that's the game I want to play. Very happy that the game pauses when I'm looking at the map. There's some button that lets me uh, 
Nope, nope, that's one. There. That is a surprisingly nice quality of life thing. Hide the cursor that tells you where <laughs> where you are, so you can actually see the full map. I don't expect Alone in the Dark 92 to be actually a good game. Or at least I don't expect it to hold up. But that's besides the point. I think it's just a As somebody who's interested in horror games, I, I I think it's like required reading. Warning, when leaving the room, be sure to turn out the lights. It will be obvious if they are not switched off. Sure, why, why would I not trust a random warning? Yeah, Alone in the Dark falls kind of in the same category as uh, a sweet home for the NES. You know, sweet home, actually pretty good. Would recommend playing it, but only if you have a guide ready at hand all the time. No! Oh, whoa, boy! <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> coming through. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> Came from there. Can't go there. Ow! Still okay, I think. Through here? Yes. <laughs> and now I know where I am. Those are awfully dirty. They're stained with blood spatters. <laughs> oh, I can't... There we go. I can read. They weren't like this before. What could have happened? It's it's so awkward when uh, you can use the uh, uh, the D-pad to skip, uh, skip text like this. So every time I see something like this, I assume this is the only line of, line of text. I press X. And then I immediately start turning around, skipping the second line. Got a hanger. Of course. Might come in handy. Bulletproof... what? What? It's heavy under a jacket, but it should protect against monsters' attack. Why would I not equip this? The only problem is it's heavy and hard to move, so I'll run slower. That's why I wouldn't use it. it doesn't feel that much slower. Oh yeah, yeah, it does feel that much slower. <laughs> Oops, 
absolutely does feel very slow. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is on PS2. And that's why it took me so long to get, get around to streaming it, because my PS2 capture setup was bad. And now it's no longer bad, so I can actually get decent image out of the system. Jesus, get out of here. Okay, so I got a hanger. What do I do with a hanger? I backtrack. I don't think there was anything back there that would have required a hanger. I'll head back to the save room real quick. Whoop! Whoop! Sir? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Chill! I can't be bothered with it now. Then we'll go figure out what to do with the hangar. This is a place I haven't been to yet. For a very good reason, it seems. this light switch even did. So let's... Let's do this now. Switch did fuck all in here. Can't combine the hanger with anything, right? Don't think so. Way further. Oh, I guess I'll leave the lights off. Or maybe having the lights off in this room reveals something. Oh, actually, is the light switch? I I just assumed that this light switch light light switch would affect something outside of this room, but is it really just something that allows you to turn the lights off in this room, so you are more likely to spot the flashlight? 
I think that might be it. <laughs> I may be overthinking this. Where have I not been? I feel like I shouldn't be stuck at this point. But here I am. safely say that the light switch doesn't transfer you to the other side of the building because I have done exactly that. And turn it all kind of thing happened. Ow! Also you claiming to say a true statement it's like the most obvious red flag It doesn't really matter how you state it, I'm not gonna believe it either way. Fuck all was found. Sir? Sir? Is there something in here that I haven't seen? Something in here? I used a hanger on the phone that's out of order. What the fuck? Suddenly lost image there for a second. Did you guys lose image? I think you did. I hope that's not a common thing. Seriously, what the fuck am I missing here? I'm just rechecking uh, 
the same doors in case I could maybe open one of them with the hangar. Just broken. How the fuck am I not finding anything? I didn't feel like I should be stuck at this point. I'm so glad I'm not playing on hard. Haven't taken a good look at it, but doubt there's anything worthwhile inside. What what box? Okay. What am I missing? Yeah, I've tried every single door there is. I can't go upstairs. I mean, there are grand total of what three rooms I can go into we have the save room the room with the flashlight and the room with the hangar and none of them at the moment have anything I ran into that. He did not hit me. Big difference. Is there a puzzle in here that I missed? I've, I've looked at this room like three times now. And there's nothing. Mm -hmm. 
Hearts of Bloods, thank you for the raid. Welcome. I am not knowing what I'm doing. That's annoying because it's so early in the game. I don't know if I missed something obvious or what the deal is. See, thank you for the raid. Ow! These raids all of a sudden. Am I, am I being stupid? I don't mind somebody answering, but I don't trust your answer. Just seriously, not. Okay, I guess I never looked looked at this door. Mostly because well, it didn't look like a door. Well. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something extremely scummy. At least I'll try. Because I wasted a ton of healing items running around back and forth without noticing this door. I don't want to do that. I... That thing really didn't look like a door, which is pretty annoying. It's not like the area is complicated, it's just that it doesn't look like a thing you can interact with. Hang on, what, what, does, what did that say? Wait, 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 wait. It said something, but I couldn't read it because it takes a few seconds for the capture card to show things to me. You guys could see what it said, but I couldn't. Am I playing? Am I playing 50 hertz even though I said yes to 60 hertz? Yeah, I... that was a nice sound. How about we try to get actual 60 hertz? <laughs> See if I can tell the difference, having now played hour and 13 minutes in 50 hertz. <laughs> okay, nice to know that <laughs> that's a thing.
No, I didn't press anything. That's the thing. I couldn't even see that there was a message. I, I just barely noticed uh, on the preview window that, hey, it's saying something. Because uh, the new capture card I have uh, is really fast at displaying the capture, but for some reason to pass through takes a second if the resolution changes. Let's try again. Eventually, I hope. Yo, Scallop, thank you for the resub. And I have a feeling that this may have crashed. It may have crashed real good. It crashed real good. be so good if there was some sort of motion on screen while it's loading. All right. 60 hertz. If display is okay, press the X button. I don't know if that counted. No, it's still 50 hertz. Dude. It didn't even give me time to read before it defaulted back to 50 hertz. <laughs> Come on, game! Let that be on screen for more than two seconds. So again, I didn't press anything. It just instantly went away. The joys of retro gaming. I don't call myself a speedrunner, that's the thing. <laughs> I call myself a washed up has been. I mean, we, we can share the title, Noobist. I think it. Okay, it didn't crash. NTSC, and then I'm pressing X without seeing anything. There we go. What a great system. Oh, wow, I... I can't tell the difference. Absolutely. <laughs> Does look a lot better now.
hanging halfway down from the ceiling. Even if I stand on the table and stretch my hands out, I can't reach it. If only I had something long to snag it! Should be a sixty. I mean, the capture card doesn't exactly have settings that I can tinker with, to my knowledge. And I assume the game is running at thirty anyway, so. FPS is match output FPS, and I can't change it. I guess I can set it to custom, which just that. <laughs> I can set it to highest FPS, but I, I can't set it to like any number. And I don't know what resolution it's capturing right now, so I'm glad it's... Let's assume it's 480p. That That's not correct. That's most definitely not correct. 1080p? That's still not correct. Or is it? It's not cropped correctly, I can tell you that much. It might not be cropped correctly because I changed from 50 hertz to 60 hertz. But now it's set to highest FPS, so OC with your trained eye, can you tell the difference? <laughs> I definitely can't. In the meantime, I'm going to fix the cropping. Yes. That definitely broke. Is it Bob tenderizing to display the two separate fields? Okay. <laughs> I will pretend I understood completely. Turn the flashlight so I can see what I'm cropping. What's happening with this crop? I don't know, something like that?
What's the text that made me look as janky? Hang on, let's, let's get some text on screen. Does it look janky? I can't tell. I definitely can't tell from the preview. Yeah, yeah. Please, thank you. So I would like to get it get it right. <laughs> but this may not be the time for it. Right now I'll just say it's good enough for the time being. Considering my setup, I think I should be able to get pretty decent, or above pretty decent, uh, capture. Uh, hi! Hi! Can't hear anything. What was that? Actually, before I go anywhere in here, there's still a door there that I never checked. This isn't the hospital. Heather, please, get a grip. Nice little ring in here the last time I came. Bummer that it's gone. Walnut! This is where <laughs> Fucking Silent Hill. Only the best puzzles. Button seems to be broken. Sir, I can't see shit. Locked, not broken. It's still marked the same way. But I missed like five doors. Why 
right. This area seems super useful so far. Yeah, that worked. Nothing. I'll go back to the walnut room. Oh! Oh! I wasn't expecting to... to be able to go up. Can I go down? Surely not. No! Oh, oh, right. Yeah, no. Maybe through here. <laughs> Maybe actually try to use the escalator. No. Why not? What? That's why. Look over there. Yeah, just gotta learn to learn to fly. Oh my god. Oh my god, camera. Wait, this just goes back here. It's unlocked. Wow! Fuck. I can't navigate this place. Out of my way. Back to the walnut room. We're heading upstairs then. Oh my god. The camera is so on point. It's like, would you like to see what's in front of you? Out of the way! Dude! <laughs> That's so fucked up! That is so good. Nice clusterfuck. <laughs> Barbecue dog. Something in the dog's stomach. Cooked key.
I don't really feel like eating and drinking stuff from an alternate reality, okay? Don't be so picky. Now, what did this say? Red Crescent and Round Dent. Piling up the 300th day and night from beyond the door, cries of pain are heard. And the final destination has become real, though not a blessed beginning. Got it. I'm gonna save. I don't have to, act in any case, fight those things again. Although if I was to die right now, I would probably just not fight them at all. This camera is insane. Where did that sound come from? Eh. Thing? That doesn't seem right. Nothing. Okay, well, I got a crispy key. Did go through here? Oh yeah, I did. And it led to... Led to the nut room. One more locked door in the nut room. Or in the nut hallway. at Heather the door I guess so steel pipe what do we have? knife or a pipe not very powerful but not hard to use honestly pipe doesn't seem like a or any sort of melee weapon really Doesn't seem ideal versus those big boys. Any on the wall. 
This was once a cafe. to get to. Detergent. Next to the bakery sink. It's not for dishes, though. It's for the bathroom. We're gonna clean the toilet before we stick our hand in it. to switch it is, but it's on. <laughs> Classic. I see a button, I will press it. Pressing a button ever done something bad? <sighs> I'm not going any further. It's creepy and dangerous to boot. There's gotta be a way. I can't... I can't very well stab them one by one. Some insecticide would do the trick. Okay. Is that marked on, on the map now? It's empty. It surprisingly isn't marked on the map. This camera is so dumb. It's actually going out of its way to show me everything except the enemies. Oh. Well, not a lot of stuff in here. Uh, where have I seen a place that I could use detergent in? Don't think anywhere, really. Unless I can make my own homemade uh, insecticide.
No? Really? Okay, so I got a walnut, and I got detergent. What do I do with those? I don't think this place had anything of interest besides the key. Nope. And I used the detergent on the on the red paint. bathroom and I got detergent I wasn't able to do anything else in here <laughs> no worth a shot I, seriously what is the pl point of this room interact with anything in here. Maybe you gotta come there later for some reason. Maybe that's like the exit. So yeah, I, I don't think they would have a room just for different difficulty levels. Is there something over here? I didn't really explore this place because I just ran past everything. Now we have a steel pipe. Yo, fucker! Can't deal with two at once. Yes, I can! He 
did hurt though. Dismembered mannequins. Can I have a hand? Use one. Mannequin bullets, health drink. Okay, I guess that paid off. Mannequin arm and body on the floor in the dressing room. I know it's just a big doll, but it's still downright nasty. Okay. Not important. I was hoping for something a bit more substantial. This clever fucker. Maybe I really am just supposed to use the detergent on the box somehow. It would seem weird not only because it doesn't really make that much sense as a solution, but also because the detergent was right next to the bugs. Oh, right, there was this whole switch, which I pressed, and it did something. Oh, oh, actually, hang on. Can, can I, can I puzzle? No? No, not, I mean, brain activation, but not really, because it's still a Silent Hill puzzle, so it's not going to make any sense. Actually, wait, 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 there's a trash can that can be interacted with. It's empty. Worth a shot. Don't know why, but it's worth a shot. Hey! 
hell of a fan. Very fast. I'll leave it on for now. Not like I have any idea what to do with it. where I came from. Why are the puzzles just complete moon logic? Strong bugs. Like I'm, I'm gonna place something in the trash while the fan is off, then I'm gonna come out of the room, turn the fan on, and then the bugs disappear. I think that's the solution. I just don't know what to put in the trash. So at this point it's just walk around, hug every wall, and mash the use key until something happens. 
Which is my favorite type of gameplay. Can I use the walnut here? What can I use to break the walnut? Because obviously I can't step on it, that would be too obvious. I can still go back here. Do I have any reason to go back there? I don't think there was anything down there that I didn't already interact with. Yeah. I think we're done with that place. We didn't really get anything from this room. Continues to be nothing in this room. Very advanced combat system, you can. <laughs> You can control what sort of swing you do. If you press forward and hold, you do a step, and if you press back, you do a swing like that. That's quite nice. Yeah, this place has nothing. Hi, <laughs> sir. And we're back here, bashing our heads against the wall. Old familiar wall. Is it a case of something that it, that's a door that doesn't look like a door? The classic. They already got me once with that.
clearly I'm supposed to use some item in here while the fan is off. I, 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 I have no fucking clue. This is not fun. Yeah, I... I no idea where that item could be because I I feel like I've been through every room at least eight times. And it's getting kinda old. Oh, especially floor one. I I feel like I I definitely went through that place a million times while looking for that one door. Unless it's like in the room. That I was missing for the longest time. navigating through that hallway with the enemy it it might look like I know where I'm going but I I am a, it's just luck that I get through the uh, through the room that quickly I guess in this room I wasn't that thorough in Did I... Did I not try this? No, this is... No, okay, this is the wrong door. Oh my god, I... <sighs> Even with a map. too gross. James would have done it. Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? Bit too early for the gag. Danger, do not mix.
me guess. Am I correct in putting this stuff in the trash? Look at that! I used this to make gas earlier. Best not to stick my head in too far. Who knows what's left in there? Jerky. We'll be back. We'll be back immediately, it seems. Camera is so good. Dang, those guys do damage. done in that room. I thought this was like something interactable that wasn't the door. Oh, you're still alive. Get kicked. <laughs> oh, that was a waste of ammo and health. If this really has nothing in it. Shit. Just an 
escalator to the north. So let's take that way. It's unlocked. Are we back in that? Where the fuck are we? Oh, we're back here? Okay. That's not what I had in mind. Oh, the... The escalators are just blocked off entirely. Heather! What even is that thing that's... I can't tell what's happening! <laughs> Something was attacking me. I don't want to even think about what this platform was used for. This pattern looks like it could have been drawn in blood. I bet it's some sort of cursed symbol. No wonder my head hurts and I feel so awful when I look at it. I'll stick to south and try to see if I can get to the southern escalator. Ow. That looks like a no. There was one door I missed back there, I think. Maybe not. Heather! Get a grip. I can't even tell if those enemies that are coming at me are flying or have really funky legs. There's fuck all in here. It doesn't even mark some of these doors as broken. Thank you, camera. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> no, not in the walnut shell, just a jewel? Got a moonstone. God, I, do, I don't have any Pokemon that I, I can evolve with the moonstone. Oh, 
identify those things. I didn't know what I'm looking at. It's this hallway. No? Here? No? What? Is it the key to this door? How is the camera so bad? Actively fighting against me, even when it has no reason to. <gasps> oh my god, actually getting somewhere. Somewhere. from there, right? Yes. No, I think something's below me. Dude, what is this camera doing? Like, it, it notices that it's about to turn to face what's forward. And does this crazy 180, just to spite me. I don't 
think I'll be using the pipe. Oh, there you are. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I wasn't expecting that! <laughs> uh, Heather? What an odd boss fight. That was way, way easier than fighting a, a normal enemy in a small room. The camera even tried to follow the boss. What? It's the shopping mall just like before. No, I, I don't... Did I... I just said while I was in that area right before the boss fight how the camera almost turned to face the correct way and then suddenly jerked in the complete opposite direction. Like, at times I get it. Yeah, you you don't want the camera to be uh, exposing the enemy all the time. It's supposed to be scary. And if you show it too much, then it stops being scary. But holy fuck. The amount of annoyance the camera gives me overshadows the uh, benefits of not showing the enemy. Little things like this. Alright, I come from here, I turn the camera, face forward, face forward, face forward. Okay, never mind. Like, right right now, it's fine. I check this door. Nope, oh, nope. Oh, now it behaved. Okay, never mind. I don't understand how it works. Just gonna keep pressing a uh, left trigger. Sometimes it might work. Well, we all have our hopes. Actually, now no, I'm curious. I gotta check the manual. Just a second.
Let me turn some lights on. About that. Yeah, that's enough light. <laughs> I need to see the manual. How does the manual describe the controls? <laughs> like, what? What is left trigger? According to these controls. Does this even have a list of controls? Need help with Silent Hill 3? Konami UK hotline number. Thanks. Wait, this manual actually doesn't tell you the controls. Huh. Oh, there we go. What is L2? Search view. Okay. Sure, that's vague enough that it, it is technically true. I was wondering if it was something like turn camera. In which case I would have called bullshit. I just backtracked. Nice. with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? And that monster, what the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here and I got a weird feeling it's got something to do with me. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me... What are you talking about? Yeah, What's his voice so acting special specifically. About you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. Something I've been running from and forgot for a long time. I do. Well, if I know. <laughs> Why are you asking me? <laughs> nice that I still have the gun out. Oh, 
I don't have a map? No, I don't. Can't hit the alarm. Subway map. Even without looking at this, I still know my way home. Bergen Street, train platform 3. I don't have a ticket. Oh no. There's a newspaper left on top of the ticket machine. Fatal accident at Hazel Street. At about 11 p.m. on the 4th, a man waiting on the platform at the Hazel Street station fell onto the tracks and was decapitated by the arriving St. Renata College bound train. The victim died instantly. While police have not yet determined whether the death was an accident or suicide, witnesses report that the victim did not look in inebriated and seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. The victim's identity is unknown. He was approximately 40 years old, 5 feet 6 inches tall, 6, 10 inches tall, uh, and was wearing a black jacket. The newspaper is four months old. What's it doing here now? No, 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 the dark, dark corners of the Earth guy doesn't say it like that. He, he just says, it's locked. Or, it won't budge. House plant. Oh, <laughs> how about we just walk through? Try to be as thorough as I can. Try to avoid all those doors that don't look like doors. It's a nice sound. Okay, I was hoping to find something up here before heading downstairs. Where's the map? Where's the map? 
But every single door is blocked. there for now. Alright. It's, um... Uh... Huh. Hmm. Gotta be honest, I'm not feeling this as much as I was feeling uh, Silent Hill 2. I think there's a couple of things that are, like, clearly holding this back in comparison. Though, I don't remember exactly how I felt about Silent Hill 2 early on, other than, oh my god, I made a mistake starting on hard. But, I think the way the story is set up works way better in Silent Hill 2. Here it kind of just happens. Like, oh, you're now in Silent Hill. Or in Shadow Realm. Deal with it. And... Sure, maybe it doesn't need an explanation, but at the same time, it's really, really nice how Silent Hill 2, like, more naturally pushes you in there. Like, okay, I have a reason to be at Silent Hill, and then things start to escalate. You, you have a reason to do the things you are doing from the beginning. Never mind the batshit puzzles of. Let me throw some some soda down a uh, down a drain or whatever it was. That's that's all nonsense. That's to be expected. But at the same time, I had a reason to go to Silent Hill, and I had a reason to search Silent Hill for for things. Yeah, the uh, the, the close uh, shoot. That was a fantastic puzzle. Whereas here, I'm kind of just doing nothing, and then Silent Hill happens. And it doesn't really hit the same way. Also, the, the environment doesn't really hit the same way either, because in Silent Hill 2 you had the town of Silent Hill, the exteriors, the, the foggy town, lots of open areas. Yeah, I, I know I just started the game, but I'm comparing the beginnings of each game. But ex exploring the town in Silent Hill 2 was, was more interesting than exploring the mall here. Because the mall is just very, very cramped. And... It doesn't really feel like you're trying to achieve anything in particular in there. And really the biggest challenge in this game so far has been noticing doors. I, that's something I don't remember if I had an issue with things out here too. But twice now I've I've gotten stuck and it's because I haven't noticed the door. It's not because a puzzle is difficult, it's not because uh I I can't get past enemies, it's it's just What what the fuck is happening here?
Yeah. Th yeah, the, the amount of locked or broken doors is also kind of extreme. That was also the case in Silent Hill 2. But somehow it seems like th I, I managed to only miss the doors that can actually be interacted with. I found these 17 locked doors with broken locks, but but the one door that can be opened, walked past it like seven times. I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll we'll see where it goes. But so far, I'm a bit underwhelmed. I will give it the same or at least similar pros as Silent Hill 2, as in the sounds are really good, and the graphics are really good. I, I, I haven't noticed as often that I'm just being impressed by the graphics as in Silent Hill 2, but I think that's also at least partially because of the environment that this took place in. It, I did at one point uh, had to stop and just look at the uh, enemies in the distance. Yes, that that was a nice moment. Although I, in order to do that, I did have to manually control the camera to frame it so it looks nice. Whereas in Silent Hill 2, I recall things like that happening kind of organically. Every now and then, you would just see an enemy in the darkness you are not even see the enemy in the dark you barely see the outline of the enemy in the darkness and I haven't really seen that in this game it's kind of been I'd say it's been more aggressive with the enemies and it doesn't help that uh, one of the one of the main enemies in this game is that giant brute thingy it's not a not a bad enemy design per se but the fact that it's so common so early on i don't know it's it's a bit too big for an early game enemy The dogs are nice. Definitely my favorite enemy design so far. Your least favorite of the four. So far, I'm inclined to agree, based on... Say, two hours of this, 50 minutes of walking in circles. Silent Hill 1. I, I feel like in Silent in case of Silent Hill 1, I I let that game off a bit easier because it's a PS1 game. And considering it's a PS1 game, it's really good. Whereas in case of Silent Hill 2, you, you don't really have any caveats of it's really good for a PS2, it's really good for this type of game. No, it's just really fucking good. End of story. Whereas, Sontil 1 always is going to have that little, little footnote of... It's really, really good for PS1. Uh, probably more tomorrow. I've been kind of neglecting streaming lately because, well, this this week I I started at my at my new job, 
So that's that's been slightly draining, but also the job is so far much much more more uh, pleasant than my previous one. But it's it takes some getting uh, getting used to and adjusting. Uh, and somehow I I found uh, found the motivation to do some actual game dev stuff with Goryeo. And uh, I, I think the, the game I'm trying to build is finally starting to look like a game. That's a lie. At the moment that game is three empty rooms. But I'm really happy with those three empty rooms. They are really good empty rooms. And I might be able to actually start building stuff around them. 12 minutes remaster. Oh, I, I, I wish my game would last for 12 minutes. Right now there's gameplay for about... No, 12 seconds would be too much. <laughs> there's about 4 seconds of gameplay right now. But I think it's really good 4 seconds. Just a couple of little things to, to adjust, and I, I think I have the framework down. It is fast walking speed. I, I, I did set the walking speed quite high, so I could walk through those rooms quickly, repeatedly. I think I, I, think I can very smoothly adjust how long that game is gonna be, just by changing the, the movement speed value. Game too short. Half the movement speed. It's fine. Anyway, that's enough of this for now. Uh, I'm gonna draw a raid in. This Jimmy guy, he's playing Outer Wilds for the first time. Don't don't spoil it. Enjoy somebody playing Outer Wilds for the first time because that's always that's it's the only way to play Outer Wilds for the second time by watching somebody else do it. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good night and see you later. Bye.